What's up, guys? It's gonna be my first video, so don't mind the awkwardness. And uh, yeah, like what's going on right now. But anyway, so I went to pick and pull. We got, I think, these tail lights. Got these tail lights from a 2005, six or whatever Impreza wagon. It was. It was from an Impreza. Okay, not WRX or anything. It's just an Impreza. Um, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be able to make it fit. Pretty sure it is. I figured out you don't have to do any wiring. Don't quote me. Maybe I just have the wrong year and I don't really know what year it is. And then it probably clips on. But I just tried it earlier. I'll probably show you guys right now that I just plugged it in and everything works just how it was. The only thing is the fitting, which is, uh, hmm. Yeah, on the bumper. I think that's the only thing that's going to affect you guys or affect anyone who's gonna do this. Um, so today I'm gonna be cutting my bumper, installing those tail lights, and uh, I guess walking through the process of how to do this. Um, yeah, remember, first video. Don't hate on me for it. <laughs> so yeah, got these at Pick and Pull for 20 bucks. Thanks, shout out to my brother for uh, letting me know that there was a uh, $10 off headlight tail light thing for toolkit members or the toolkit membership, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, so I already did, started it off, but you already know what to do. Assumingly it's pretty easy, take these clips off, it's a Phillips, and then pry it off, whatever, take this clip, to, or take the cover off, and you'll just get to 10 mil bolts, two of them. And then on the sides right here, you're gonna be pulling this way to release the push pins or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the wiring in one second. All right, don't mind the shaky hand. I'm doing this with one hand. But just plug into that, and then oh, it's gonna pull that out, kind of. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. Now I know how people. Now I know how people feel about doing those uh, single-handed videos. So I'm showing something to do. Yeah, plug that in. And then just watch. We go over here. Oh, yeah. And then I don't have my car keys. Oh shit. Great. Now we can walk over here. Now. Eh, how should I show you guys? Uh, I guess I could do. My emergencies and then you can see it going there so I was kind of panicking earlier because the when you turn on the headlights these night light lights or whatever you want to call them didn't turn on but I figured you had to turn on the car so I learned that didn't test out the reverse lights yet and uh, I'll eventually find out but yeah so that it works all right now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car see if these will come on I'll show you guys reverse lights if anything. But, yeah. That's better. Give me one second. And a Dremel. So, oh, also in a Sharpie. So anyway, um, what I was gonna do is this. How to mark this up is I'm gonna have to, like, uh, how should I say this? I guess try and have that part as flush as I can. 
along top and then just push and then when I push it's like it's pretty flush and then when down here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a sharpie put tape or what you do is put tape and then you sharpie it to get a, um, a, per, a good outline a decent one and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the least and then keep adjusting outwards or I should say cut more more as I need to in order for it to fit um what else I think that's it um, but they don't have um, this part on these headlights or I mean, taillights or whatever they just have that so what I might do is I might use 3M tape just to stick it on there if it doesn't work but first I'm gonna try and bolt it up first or I keep saying first but I'm gonna keep bolted uh, keep bolting it up see how much I could do it and you know see where it says or see where it sits and then I believe after that, I'll show you guys the finished product. It's going to be the same thing on this side. I'm going to do the exact same process, that side to this side. So, I mean, if you want to rewatch the video to see how you do it, it's going to be there. So, I'll show you guys when it is about to be finished, or when it is finished. So I didn't really use a sharpie, I more of used a, a pen, like a uh, really fine, oh, well I'm not getting that cap back, but something really fine like this. What the fuck is it? Oh, it's all the way down there. Oh well, I'll get it later. But yeah, so that's what I did. And uh, there might be more modifications that I'm going to have to do with the headlight itself, so um before you do anything use me or use this video as an example of if you should do it or not depending on how much cutting you would have to do and how much modifications to the headlight but yeah all right now um i went ahead and cut it and uh kind of i have like a dremel and it's like a sanding kit so of course i'm just cutting plastic so i decided to go ahead and cut it I sanded it a little bit around just to get it all smoothened out. Um, that worked very well, so that's a good, I guess, way to show, share with you guys that. Um, I guess sanding or smoothing plastic could help fitment so much better. I know it's something that's, you know, like a common sense, but I barely cut my shit, so I don't really know, but it looks really good. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So this is what it looks like, what the cut looks like. Um, kind of hit the, I don't know what this is. I think it's the bash bar. I think it hit the bash bar a little bit. You can see it. Um, but, you know, the more you look at it, it's not really that perfect. It's still something. Yeah, it's all good. It looks nice. Um, there's like one thing right here too. It's only being held on by two 10 mil bolts. Um, I think this too is like this a little bit of what's it called? A little bit of non even flush or whatever it is, but it's still still pretty good. It's still holding on pretty tight. So, guys, I am officially done. Not really. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what I did, how I cut it, what did it look like. Um, it's not the perfect, or it's not the most perfect, I should say. Um, eventually with the plans of this car, I'll go ahead and uh, tell you guys this now is that Battle Arrow is coming out with a wide body. Um, I plan on doing that. Of course, getting bigger wheels or wider wheels and all that stuff. A whole new makeover for this car because this car is going to get paint matched. Everything. Like, this is the OEM paint. It's Sonic Yellow. Um, so, I was like, alright, you know what, why not? So, this is just temporary. This is not going to be forever. Alright guys, you ready? I finally got it on. It looks so good. Nah, I'm just playing. Here it is. This is what it looks like. I mean, if you really look at it from afar, you can't see shit. But if you look up close, you can see my mistakes that I cut. Surprisingly, I did better on the first try this one's kind of focuses but kind of 
sucks. I mean, I was thinking about getting some touch-up paint, fixing that, but this one's like a little bit of a bigger gap. You can kind of put my finger in it. But like I said, in the future, different bumper, you know, get it all repainted. And then this side, this side looks a lot cleaner and a lot better and has less of a gap. Hi guys, thank you for watching the video. Um, it's the first video, so excuse me for uh, fucking up or like, you know, being awkward, but I appreciate it. If you guys want more videos of talking about my car or whatever it is, maybe, you know, just comment, like, whatever, let me know and I'll do some more. Um, yeah, peace out.